All right, let's spend a little more time talking about a mole. You can abbreviate mole simply like this, M-O-L. Now, that might not seem like um, much of a shortcut, but you'll write that so many times, turns out um, it will be a time saver. Like we mentioned before, a mole is a unit describing how many. So it describes how many, how much, or it describes amount. It's similar to a dozen, um, but as we already established, a mole is not equal to 12. Remember that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So just as you can have a dozen of anything, you can have a mole of anything. So you could have a dozen eggs. That would mean you had 12 eggs. If you had a mole of eggs, that would mean you had 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd eggs. So if you'd like, um, for a little while, you can think about a mole as kind of like a dozen. Just keep in mind that a mole is not equal to 12 at all. Now this is very important. Commit this number to memory. This is um, the guy that came up with 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. His name is Avogadro, so sometimes this number is referred to as Avogadro. We'll talk more in class about how this handsome gentleman um, developed this number. So how big is a mole? Because this is a number 6 with 23 zeros after it. That's sort of hard to comprehend. In fact, it's probably impossible to comprehend. Now let's say we had a mole of marbles. How much space do you think a mole of marbles might take up? Well, as it turns out, a mole of marbles would completely cover the Earth's surface and would stack several miles high. So we can see that if you have a mole of something, that's an incredible amount. It's a huge quantity. Now, in this example here, we're speaking about marbles. Marbles are fairly good size. What do you think a mole of atoms might look like? How much space do you think a mole of atoms would take up? Well, what we've got in this jar here is exactly one mole of zinc atoms. See that? That's one mole of zinc atoms. You can see that the zinc um, exists in like these little um, buttons or pellets, something like that. Notice we don't have a mole of those zinc buttons. What we have specifically are a mole of zinc atoms. So if marbles take up, you know, the entire surface of the earth, but a mole of zinc atoms only take up this much space, what does that tell you about the size of an atom? Well, it tells us that the size of an atom is exceedingly small. So a mole is going to be very useful to us in science because atoms are so small, we'll be unable to count them. But what we can do is we can measure them with a balance or a scale. So that's what we'll be discussing in the next video. We're going to be discussing a method of counting by weighing.